Welcome back to the Romanian River channel in my playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. Regarding your request, your request for resources on the Fade, as a noted partner of the Inquisition, Lady Mon Montiliet has ensured our contacts are quick to reply. The few tiles on hand accompany this letter with the remaining en route from libraries in Raval Royal and the surrounding. Archivist Bannon. Fade and Spirit's mysterious by brother Janet, a friend. My brother, friend, Ferdinand Genetivi. Okay, these are a list of books. There are two more pages of tiles listed beneath. Jesus. Somebody sure likes reading. Okay. Ah, this is a better way. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I should thank you. The way things ended in Redcliffe, you could have demanded anything you wished. Yet you chose to make us equal partners. I was not expecting that. Having you here willingly can only make us stronger. Fair enough. <laughs> I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you are no doubt well aware. You were once a Grey Warden? Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago, I found myself stripped of what made me a warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You sound happy about it. Becoming a warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a warden. <laughs> you mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened, had to happen. You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi, although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is, and what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers, most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually to winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. I'm not proud of our choice, but we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. I trust everything is well with the mages? Most are pleased with the Alliance, even if we wonder what will happen next. I'll leave you to it. Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. You'll find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. 
You're taking over the duties of Minev? Yes. Her death provided the vacancy. I am told there are many who will miss her. My skills will ensure that you do not miss her ability. How can you serve the Inquisition? I am to aid in the research of all creatures encountered in your efforts as leader of the Inquisition. What makes you particularly qualified? I remember being fond of animals. I don't remember why. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Not optimal, given the facilities. Skyhold should be improved, or our efforts will continue to suffer. You were made tranquil? Yes, I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous endeavor. I remember that being a difficult time, but I cannot remember why. My skills are well used in my current position. As you were? Yes, Inquisitor. Good. Greetings again, Inquisitor. I'll leave you to it. Oh, huh. Okay. Brilliant, isn't it? <sighs> a lot of talking to do. You're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. Did you now? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinter, they say the Chantry's tales of Magisters starting the Blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very Magisters. A dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say dark spawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Dark Spawn, what other explanation is there? We only know what Corypheus claims to be. True. He might be a convincing liar, or delusional, or insane. But how many delusional maniacs are going to have that knowledge? He broke open the Fade. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth. But I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. You didn't do anything. Those men did, a thousand years ago. True, except that one of them is up and walking around right now. Not to mention I have idiot countrymen who would happily follow him down that path again. No one will thank me whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? That's not why I'm doing this. I knew there was something clever about you. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Jackass. Oh, good if you said it. Congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. <laughs> Let's 
So that's more. Let's see. That's Fiona. Uh huh. This goes up further. Jesus. Not found a sky holds rookery. Saddler. Baron Plucky. I don't care how many missions he's flown or how many lives his actions have saved. He's a holy terror. Nearly pecked off my eye the last time I tried to attach a message to him. All the dramatic flapping and squawking caused the sister to come over. You should have seen her look when she snatched a letter from me. If I had a weaker constitution, it might have killed me on the spot. I suppose she thought I was trying to murder her prized raven. All, and all she had to do was coo at him and the baron stopped on, hopped onto her shoulder, all sweetness and nestled into her neck. How does she do it? All the birds like her. Is it blood magic? It's blood magic, isn't it? A fine time to close the border. The news is dire. There are rumors that our border brothers and sisters of Ferelden have all perished. When the Grey Wardens, the Blight will take Ferelden. They will undoubtedly spread. They will go north to Navarra and the marches. They will come west to Orle. At the head will be an archdemon, and in its wake will come thousands upon thousands of darkspawn. You must be ready to stare squarely in the eyes of Blair. Many of you have asked why we remain here, and such threats are mounting in the east. The problem you see is not a new one for us politics. The Seferodin and Orle have been at odds is an understatement. These two are like dogs and cats. We, we wardens are a religion by address only. But that does not seem to matter to Ferelden's leaders. Word is that the king of Ferelden is dead, and his successor, Logan Mactier, decrees that no warden set foot in the country. Mactier, a national hero who helped expel invading religion forces from Ferelden, seems to have it out for our order, too. Maybe he doubts our abilities. Maybe he is more foolish than the history books make him out to be. This is why we must wait, even as Ferelden, as Ferelden willingly welcomes its fate, and addressed by Warden Constable Blackwall of Valchevain to his recruits, 930 Dragon. was not expecting a visit. You had little interest in speaking to me privately before. But as dear Josephine says, it's never too late to make a friend. Right. Especially since we lost so many at Haven. You noticed my exchange with the commander. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead, we lost Haven. More likely they would have stayed out there, died, and we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Their lives could have bought Haven a small chance. My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus? We are better than Corypheus. And the condition of our charges... Of your charges. Dear Liliana, you'd be happy to learn that, our f that your friends are doing well. Shampoos the second is still unhappy about his meal plan and dress again in the pantry. I had to have a bolt installed 
and now he whines constantly. The two little ones are still a handful. But good news, I've managed to discourage Boulet from relieving herself on the silk rug Justinia gave you. Felicine from, from two doors down, or over, has been visiting almost every day to play with the nugs. She is quite delightful, and Schlumps too is fond of her. I expect it's because she brings some sweets from her father's shop. I had to ask her governess to keep her from visiting the house, however, as someone tried to infiltrate it two nights ago, an agent of one of the Blanchers, hoping to uncover some of the Nightingale's secrets. I neutralized and interrogated him. His ability to withstand questioning was deplorable. Someone needs to talk to the Blanchers about their spies. All I had to do was put Shimbus 2 in his face and tell him that I hadn't fed the creature that day. Your pet played this part adorably. I received your orders and will depart for Ferelden as soon as possible. I have arranged for guard Garder to take her over nut keeping. Huh. Can't I just jump down? Let's see if I survive. Yeah, but I do. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Hmm. There's an under area. Nice. Now what did they make down here? What can I make? Okay, so oh, I have storage. Which means hundred and twenty. Most of those come from the Looks nice though. Kind of like the look of it. Level 13 Craft weapons
That is kind of nice. I'm gonna go with three marches for now. Yeah, I definitely need to get more. We left in a hurry, but you got into your old place. Save anything? Family ammo. It's as stupid as it sounds. It's good to be back at work. How is this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade. But ever forward. You've got it all up and running? Your basics, like always. There's space here for... I don't know what. This place was built for something big. It'll be a job to fill it. Have you any thoughts about the people we lost at Haven? Yes. Care to share? No. It hurts, and I don't want to spit on your efforts. You saved who you could. We have to be happy with that. I'll be back later. I'll be here. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. Much better. Hmm. I'll take some getting used to. <sighs> Let's actually store everything else. That's scary, actually. Can't wait to get um, four runes and stuff, really. Hmm. What's this?
That's interesting. That should improve my durability at the very least. But that would have to be it for now because it is more or less 26 minutes. Yeah, a lot of make work, but gotta get the lower stuff down, you know? Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.